The Coalition, which is one of Xbox's most talented studios, just put out a crazy tech demo of the Unreal Engine 5. They showed new technology that's only done on this UE5 engine, not to mention some RDNA 2 features that are seemingly exclusive to the Xbox Series X console. Let's get into what's being shown because so far, this is pretty crazy and devs are completely wowed by the technology. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to be notified on future content, hit that small little bell icon. It helps out the channel a lot. All right, so let's get into this awesome tech demo we just saw the Coalition bring out. This isn't just some tech demo not running on the consoles either, where it's running on PC. This is a full Unreal Engine 5 demo running on the Xbox Series X. We already know that the Coalition are complete wizards and probably one of the most talented studios in the industry when it comes to the Unreal Engine 5. We saw them mention they won't show any games for a little while now, and because of that, they want to master the new technology that's going to be in this new IDE. Not to mention the hardware with the Xbox Series X, because we have to remember this is the beginning of the generation, and all these developers are kind of having a massive learning curve. They'll for sure have a graphical showpiece in the next few years, especially since they're taking their time to master this new engine and its features. Something that a lot of studios don't get the privilege to do. But here's what's said in the article and what was said during the tech demo. Gears of War developer The Coalition showed off what the studio and the Xbox Series X is capable of with Epic Games' new Unreal Engine. In a pair of demos which The Coalition made clear do not represent a game product, we get a peek at ultra-realistic character rendering and two major new features of Unreal Engine 5, Lumen and Nanite. The character rendering demo shows a human male character rendered in extreme detail. His body is composed of 130,000 triangles, with another 31,000 dedicated to his face alone. His hair, beard, and eyebrows eat up another 3.5 million. You can see the demo right here on screen, I'm putting it up right now. The amount of detail in this person's face is pretty unreal, pun intended. Now we know that there's a lot of new technology that's being pumped into these next generation consoles, but with that comes new technology in the engine making those consoles, and that's exactly what's happening. This is a massive collaboration between companies and understanding the limitations of the hardware coming out to its customers. That's why when new generations kick off like the Series X and even the PlayStation 5, there's a massive learning curve for developers. It takes time for them to understand what's happening with the technology yet when given the time to learn you can see what they can make now of course the coalition made it clear this isn't a games product yet a tech demo to show what they could potentially accomplish on this new hardware and software especially with these new features on the unreal engine 5 things like lumen and nanite these are features that were talked about before and shown in the unreal engine 5 demos that we saw with the ps5 and the pc that they showed earlier this year and earlier last year, yet seeing it being put together by a talented studio on the Series X is very different because it can show the capabilities of the console, not to mention the talent that Xbox has in their first party studios. We're seeing so much detail put to work here, not just the face, but the different parts of the face. The hair alone on the face is over 3.5 million triangles, which is just kind of insane. But this face reveal, as one would call it, wasn't the only thing they showed. They also showed environments and some cool real-time lighting and reflection technology. Here's what was said. In another demo, the Coalition showcases the real-time lighting and reflection technology called Lumen in Unreal Engine 5 and Nanite, which allows for unlimited triangle budget. Epic Games announced those UE5 features in May 2020 as part of a showcase of the game engine running on PlayStation 5 hardware. But here's another sun-baked, particle-rich, and glowing mirrored obelisk look at graphics tech in action. Here's the video Xbox and the Coalition put out about this real-time lighting. As you can see, they're using a lot of next-generation technology here. Again, Lumen and Nanite, which allows unlimited triangle budget, that's something that we can't comprehend unless we're developers making these games. But let me try to break it down. Basically, the amount of power in these consoles and the amount of implementation that Epic put into the Unreal Engine 5 is going to set new standards when it comes to game detail. Now, of course, there's other game engines out there like id Tech, which is 
is one of the best in the world. Sony has the Decima engine, which again is going to have next generation technology attached to it for the PlayStation 5 and PC, but Unreal Engine 5 is one of the most popular IDEs out there. A lot of developers use it, so when they start to push these new consoles and the technology in the engine a lot more, we're going to see a lot of games are going to look vastly different and maybe even change the perspective of how these games are made, because that's what we've talked about. This next generation is about pushing boundaries with not only the CPU, but the graphics in the games in the details, and of course, physics. A lot of those studios are based in Xbox first party studios, might I add. So it's obvious that the coalition are the subject matter experts when it comes to Unreal Engine. I guarantee that they'll work with other developers within the Xbox to help understand the technology further. That's the whole reason why they're winding down production on Gears 5 and will start to concentrate on new games for this generation. They'll move away from Unreal Engine 4 and make next generation only games, which is something that Xbox said they'll do as the generation goes on. They've already had multiple games coming exclusively to the next gen consoles, and in the next couple of years, we'll see the Coalition and a bunch of other studios use this technology in games but as for now, don't expect to see this type of tech until they familiarize themselves with it. And I'll post a link in the description so you can see the entire hour long video that the Coalition put out there. In case you wanted to get every single detail from the tech demo, because let's face it, it's pretty impressive. And seeing the Coalition take the reins on this next generation engine is pretty cool because we have to admit, Gears 5 looked insane on the Unreal Engine. And we've seen it with Hive Busters and everything. They pushed the boundaries on what not only the console can do, but what the tech can do and I guarantee you that they're working with Epic to make the engine even better because that's what they are they're customers to Epic they're going to be putting these demos out a lot and they're going to be talking about the technology to see what they can do with it and other studios like I've said before are going to work with them to master it even more that's what everybody doesn't understand that a lot of this stuff is almost open source which means anybody can look at it anybody can contribute to the engine and bring new technology forward with it and see now the Xbox Series X is the most powerful for console on the market, of course they're going to push the boundaries with this new engine. And that's just what's going to happen when you have the hardware matching the software. The implementation is going to be right there in front of us, and we're going to see it probably the best that it's going to be on the Coalition's next game. If it's Gear 6 or a new IP, we don't know yet, but after a while, we're going to start seeing this. And I believe in the next year, year and a half, we're going to see what the Coalition is working on, and it's going to be a massive graphical showpiece for the Xbox and the Xbox Series X. But enough about what I think about this demo. Tell me what you think. Are you impressed with the new tech shown in this demo? Does this get you excited for the Coalition's next game? Will other studios learn from them? What type of games do you want to see use this technology? When will we see this technology put into games? Will we get more tech demos as the generation goes on? And when will we finally get to play one of these games with this next generation features? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support helps out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing, and let's compete in achievements for the month. So this month alone, I have 3,000 achievement points. I know. I basically have no life. I've been playing a bunch of games because, you know what? I love it. Game Pass has really provided me a lot of games that I never would have played before. There's a couple other things like Dark Crystal, which is a strategy game that I really enjoyed on the console. Very well done by Netflix, which is kind of weird. Netflix making games. And I've been playing a lot of other games. Assassin's Creed. Valhalla. I beat all of High Busters. I did every single achievement in Sea of Thieves. I've been playing Extinction. Every game that's on Game Pass, I'm kind of giving it a try because why not? It's a lot of fun. And in the next few weeks, we're going to get a lot of games to put on Xbox Game Pass. It's going to be insane the amount of content that's coming there. August alone has like six games that I want to check out. You throw in September and October and all the big games like Halo and Forza and Age of Empires, and you're starting to wonder, when am I not going to play my Xbox? Because that's where I'm having. I'm on my Xbox either on my console or on my PC. No matter where I am, I'm in the Xbox ecosystem and I'm in join the games they're putting on there. But let me know what you're playing. Are you playing something on your Xbox or your PC? Are you playing something on Game Pass? Or have you bought something that you're really enjoying? Let me know down below because that's what we're here for. It's to talk games. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later.